going ahead with the next scenario. It can be a question where you might find that uh, node is not responding. For example, in our case, if we say G get nodes, then my node 7 is not ready. And if I try to describe this node, it's not visible at all. Means there is no much logs as well that I can see on my master. We describe node node 7. So it is mandatory for me to get inside the node and then check it for some issue that is there probably uh, node 7. I'm getting inside the node and you need to understand on all all the worker nodes only kubelet is main responsible service that is doing that is doing most of the stuff related to cluster so do system CTL status kubelet kubelet as you can see here, it doesn't really give me much of information, but I can see that kubelet is not working. For this, it is worth giving it one try by restart and check the status again. When we check it again, Just see if something else happening in there. So in such cases, you are supposed to use general CTL. So do general CTL type in kubelet. And if you run this, you can see here it is it is trying to start as as we can see. And then on 7th or 8th line it says fail to load kubelet config file so we need to see whether we can find out the kubelet config file or not so let's just try that psdf grab kubelet as you can see kubelet cannot be checked from here at the moment so I'm going back I'm checking the same from my master node ESF developed so it mostly reside inside the lib directory var lib so getting the information for the you can use this command and as you can see config file is there inside var lib kubelet kubelet config what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this file to my node and then I will compare this file with the file that exists on my uh, worker node. So, cd cat and then I will say sh node 7 and here I'm going to say p config dot m so you can name it uh, like m config master config in our case for example but normally it, it stays the same everywhere throughout the cluster so let's just do this now let's just jump to node 7 and you know the location so, so do, okay. I'm using diff command and then I'm going to change, check whether my mconfig and this var to lib kubelet mconfig has some RTML. Is it same or is it different? As you can see, there is some difference that I can locate. And this is what we are looking at. Moving ahead next, I know this this CACRT is changed inside my 
faulty or you can say my file which is there on worker norm so i'm going to copy this cscrt set and and I'm going to change the content here. Sorry, I am supposed to change the source. I have defined source here. It is actually this. And then CCRT. So this is this is this is going to be the content string that I'm changing and this is going to be the replacement. And then G, and we are going to cross verify it as well. So it will not do it without sudo because I am not root. I am going inside var lib cubelet config config dot yeah. Now I'll grab for CSR. As, as you can see my command is able to generate this so I'm going to just make it applicable by placing hyphen i in the command hyphen i this is done now this is all good if you want to check you can check it so you grab ca dot and then var loop and then cubelet and then config so, yeah here we have changed that uh, string that was faulty in our case let's just restart the service and see whether it is working or not cd system cta start cubelet so echo dollar question is to check whether it remains successfully or not. Now you can check status as well. So you can see it is active and running now. Same can be verified at the master node as you can get nodes. This is it. I hope you liked it. Thank you very much. Have a great time.